Welcome back to Devices Setup Channel again, and today we will learn how to set up Netgear EX7000 AC1900 Wi Fi range extender in an access point mode. So, first and foremost, you will need to reset your extender, and you can do that by plugging the extender into a wall outlet and wait for its power LED to turn stable. Now, put a paper clip or anything pointed into the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. After 10 seconds, take the pin out and wait for another 2 minutes until the power LED on the extender is stable again. Next, you will need to connect an Ethernet cable from your router's LAN port to the Ethernet port on the extender. Next, grab any of your computer or cell phone, go to its settings and then to Wi-Fi. There, you will see Netgear underscore EXT network name in your Wi-Fi list. You need to connect to that network. Once connected, the Netgear setup window will pop up automatically. If it doesn't, then open a browser on the very same device and in the URL or address bar, type myWiFiEXT.net or use myWiFiEXT.local or type 192.168.1.250 and hit enter. This will take you to Netgear new extender setup page. Be very sure to type it into the address bar only because if you type it into the search bar then you might land upon third party websites where fake Netgear technicians can scam you for hundreds of dollars. I have made a complete video about this topic. You should definitely watch it too. The link is in the description. Nevertheless, on the setup page you need to create your Netgear Extender account and then select the Access Point Mode option if asked. On the next window, you will have to create your SSID or network name for the Netgear Access Point and also create one password for the same. Moreover, you will need to select the Security Type 2. We recommend you to keep WPA2 PSK or higher security version if available as your security type. Next, hit save settings. Once you do that, after 60 seconds, you will see the Netgear newly set up access point showing up in your Wi-Fi list. You can connect to it using the password that you have just now created. Also, when you set up your extender in an access point mode, you will have to keep the Ethernet cable connected between the extender and the router always. Talking about the benefits of access point mode is that you will be getting faster internet speed than range extender mode and the only drawback is that you will need long enough ethernet cable running through your house if you already doesn't have ethernet cables fitted into your walls. Moreover, if you want to learn EX7000 reset or its setup process or how to update its firmware then we have already made videos on it. The link is in the description. Also, we do provide independent support for different gadgets like printers, routers, smart TVs, Roku, Alexa, extenders, etc. So if you need any technical help with any home appliance, then you can get in touch with our technician on our official website, devicessetup.com. The link is provided in the description. And if the video was useful, then please don't forget to like and subscribe to support my channel. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.